Warthog Princess and welcome to another Vera Bradley video. This one is a haul from the retail side and it comes from the brand new release with the peanuts. There's also a couple items we'll get to first, which are some gifts I got for my aunt and uncle. You wanna say hi? Come on. And happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service to all those who have served and sacrificed. Freedom is not free, my friends. Huh, Kelly? Mwah. Okay, so, all right, anyways, first four items. I got um, all four pieces of the doggy set. I've got the pet bandana. This is in ribbons plaid. It's a triangular shape and it has a like tunnel so you can put it around any collar. It is holiday colors, but it really can be year round, honestly. And I got this because my aunt's dog is a Scotty. She's a little brown, uh, he rather, is a little brown Scotty. And I thought this would be just perfect for him. I mean, it'll be a little bit big, but I think it'll be all right. Um, anyways, I got that. And even though he doesn't need it with the bandana, I got the matching collar, the leash, and the poo bag holder little thing. So got all those for them. Sorry I'm not opening them, but those are, like I said, they're gifts for my aunt and uncle. All right, and they're near dog nugget. <laughs> He's a funny character, that one. All right, so the first item I got, this is Ski Slope Snoopy. This is the Small Vera Tote. It is recycled cotton. It's a plain red, but I love this Snoopy right on front. And now the Snoopy is embroidered. All this stuff is embroidered. The outline is embroidered the hat, the goggles, etc. There's a puff ball, uh, like a pom-pom. You can see a side view there, it sticks out. I'm guessing that's gonna be a point of failure <laughs> if I'm rough with the bag at all. Um, storing it, it'll just get squashed down. I think it'll be fine. But Snoopy himself is actually a super soft, almost like a fleece feel to it, like a super soft, fuzzy, um, kind of like Vera's velvet, which is not traditional velvet, it's a super soft velvet, but anyway, he is super, super soft. All right, so obviously there are no pockets on the front, there are also no pockets on the back. There is a hidden pocket here on the side that has this little itty bitty zipper, and I always forget about this pocket, but not this time. It is a pretty good size pocket, like in this case, my finger is right there, you can see my hand is fully inside, so it's it's pretty good size, like, hand and I have big hands so there you go uh, pretty good size definitely your phone fits inside there and it is lined we'll see that again in a moment the pattern um, there is another pocket on the top the standard small Vera the sort of secret phone pocket there it does have a magnetic closure on it as well and I have the 6s plus and it fits nicely in there now it is a little bit tall so the phone itself impedes the magnet closure but it doesn't have to close like that, so that is totally fine. Um, other than that, it's just your regular small Vera. There's no additional trim details and whatnot. It's pretty straightforward small Vera, which is lovely. And then inside, let's see, well, we've got a scent strip. Really staticky fun. And then inside it says Vera Bradley and Peanuts Consciously Crafted, because again, it is recycled cotton. But that's the interior. So you've got Ski Jump Mickey on the inside here, um, which is sort of a, a little bit smaller, Snoopies and Woodstocks and all sorts of snow scenes. There's snowboarding and sledding and playing hockey and <laughs> yeah. So really fun characters. I love just looking at all the little bits in there. Um, inside, of course, you have a regular Vera configuration. You have three slips on each side. So there's three and then you have three more on this side, one, two, and three. And the bottom of the bag is per normal, so that's the base of it right there. So it's a really nice little bag. Now, the recycled cotton totes like this seem to have been less structured. It's just the way it seems to me, like they're sort of already broken in kind of thing. This one, even though it doesn't have any additional trim and doesn't have pockets and the straps aren't anchored all the way down or anything, this actually feels like it has a little bit more structure to it. And if it weren't for the fact that this has a fold in the bottom, this actually stands, I mean, it has some structure to it. It's, it's a little more stiff and rigid than, again, it has this, this fold, this, that's why it's falling over. Not because it's not structured. It actually has some structure to it. So 
I find that really interesting that, um, you know, I, I don't have anything to compare it to in the solids, really, because the other ones were um, unquilted, the ones that I had. So anyways, I do love it. It's sort of just classic. It is a holiday pattern, but it's not straight up holiday. So you can use this really honestly, you could use it year, year round, but for sure it's a winter pattern. But let me set that aside for a second and we'll get into the other items. Um, the first item is not Snoopy. I, I know I already said those other four weren't, but this is the only other non Snoopy item. And this is a brand new pattern as well. It is also cotton reimagined, but this is a new pattern and a new style. This is the mini makeup case in stained glass medallion. And you can see the medallions very clearly in the pattern there. And here's another look on the back. You see you kind of got a whole medallion there. It's a black base with a lot of white and then you have all these beautiful kind of colors. You've got some of them are jewel tones. You've got red and blue and gold. You've got that green and pink and I think that's it. I wanted to say purple but it was really not. It's just like the blues and reds together. So anyways, it's a lovely pattern. I had thought I was gonna get a whole, whole bunch of stuff in this pattern and I might someday, but for the moment I had to restrain myself because the peanuts was the priority. But this adorable little piece has this little top handle. It's a great little size. It's kind of like a miniature brush up case. Um, that's my opinion, but it's perfect size for a handbag or for jewelry or makeup or whatever on the go. And it is meant to be a makeup case, but honestly, I'd probably use it for jewelry before I'd use it for makeup because it is not plasticized and it's not plastic lined. Yes, it does have this little mirror in here, which has a little plastic over it, so that's why it's looking kind of hazy. It has a small mesh pocket underneath the mirror, which is great, but again, it's, it, it's like a nylon interior, but it's not, I don't think it's that wipeable. So makeup wise, it's not your normal makeup construction. It's not a problem, you could do whatever. It is black, so it would hide a lot of the makeup's dust and dirt and liquids and whatnot if it got on there. But it's just a great little size. Um, like I said, it's good for travel, but it is also good for everyday use, I think. So if I look at this with the Mickey, look at that. All those colors, they all match so nicely. I am totally gonna use this together. Um, I imagine. Eh, no guarantees. Sometimes I change things up all along the way, but let me put all these tags in here. Okay, so that's it for that. The rest is all Snoopy. Oops, that totally fell on the floor. Okay, next up we have socks. Two kinds of socks. I got both. Um, the first is the cozy socks. Now, if you watched like way back, I'll put a link here from like an old video where I went through all the different socks and stuff. Um, but the cozy socks from Vera are so, so soft and comfortable. They have a good stretch to them. Um, but sometimes fuzzy socks are, you know, they get kind of, I don't know, like separation or I don't know what's the best way to say it. They're kind of holy, you know, but these are not. These are like knit socks, but they're a tight knit and they're just so soft and comfortable. I just like them a lot. Um, great for boots and whatnot. <laughs> but this one is red with black and it has Snoopy and Woodstocks on it. There's a couple different Snoopy poses. But it's the same pose, but a couple like Snoopy, Woodstock, Snoopy, and there's a Snoopy on the back. And both of these are exactly the same. So Woodstock doesn't repeat because that's where the heel is, but it is a cute pattern again. Even though it's designed as a holiday pattern per se, and these little X's kind of look like snowflakes, but kind of not. So this could totally be a year round sock. Um, not that it matters, nobody has to see your socks anyways, right? Till, <laughs> truth be told, I wear flip flops or whatever around the house most of the time during the summer because it's Arizona. All right, now these are the other socks. These are like the standard Vera Cruz socks, but so, so cute. So again, it has Snoopy and wood socks all over it. This is the, like the ski jump pattern. So there is like ice skating. There's Woodstock being towed behind, like in a little kayak on the on the lake or whatever, on the ice. There's hockey. There's skiing. Yeah, and there he is on skis, 
with sunglasses on. There it is, Snoopy carrying the skis just like on the Vera. So there you go, it's really cute. I like this little woodstock here with this hat on. The hat is this big long hat, but let me see if I can show you that better. Yeah, <laughs> it's that huge hat that wraps all the way around the back of the sock. It's just kind of funny. Disproportionately large and long. Anyway, that's the socks. Then I got a medium cosmetic. Why? Because bag. It also goes with other bags that I have. I mean, because there's so many colors in it, actually, not as so much on the front. There are some more colors on the back, but yeah. So it gives us some options. I did not go with any of the light colored big bags because as per my normal, that's not my preference. Even though I, I adore Snoopy and Woodstock, I didn't want a whole bunch of big light colored bags. But accessories can be light colored and are protected inside of other bags. So I'm a little less concerned about them and I don't have to scotch guard them either. But all right, so let's look at pattern placement and pattern in, in its total. So first of all, you have lots of dog houses in this pattern and there's a couple different variations of it. Um, most of them are just red like this, some with lights or it might have a big white roof because there's snow on it. Um, this one, very unfortunate pattern placement. Snoopy's head is totally cut off. So very, very sad, but if you just kind of glance at the bigger picture and just kind of forget about that Snoopy up there, it's a delightful scene with a whole bunch of Snoopies down here. You've got Woodstock and then you've got a whole string of Woodstocks and a beautiful Christmas tree. So not so bad. You got Snoopy peeking up over here, more Woodstocks and um, yeah, another Snoopy again, pulling that, um, looks like a kayak or a toboggan or something is pulling Woodstock. So that's that, but I'm really happy with the back because it captures a whole scene. You've got Snoopy and Woodstock over here. You've got the beautiful Christmas tree and you can see the top of it. You've got the little doghouse with Snoopy and his hat. You've got Woodstock with the little tree and its nest. You've got the dog bowl filled with candy canes and you have, of course, the gondola up here with all the Woodstocks in it. Um, uh, yeah, bonus Woodstock on the candy cane in the middle. So very, very cool. You got the blues and whites and the different variations of the snow background. So I am so, so happy with this. I got all the colors, all the characters and some great poses. And the front, again, if you just kind of forget that one little tidbit, it's still nice. <laughs> Inside this, um, as per the normal medium cosmetics, the front is not lined with plastic, but it does have that ski jump. So you got ski slope and ski jump and could possibly be saying those backwards, but I think that's right. Um, and so the whole inside is clear plastic lined over that opposite interior. So you got the ski jump stuff with all the cute little poses of Woodstock and Snoopy. So very cool, very happy with that overall. All right, next up, we got a zip ID. And again, this is ski slope Snoopy. So you got some of the cute poses with whatnot. There's the Woodstock on the candy cane. You got pulling Woodstock with that blue kayak. He's upside down flying around in this bowl. Over here it's um, ice skating. Well, the head's cut off, whatever. On the front it's kind of a good picture. You can definitely tell it's Snoopy and Woodstock. There you've got a full Woodstock and almost a full Snoopy. And this one, even though it doesn't connect with this outside, we've got head to head. So not too bad overall pattern placement, but here's the thing. Story time. I did not order this. I ordered a zip ID and at, right at opening, you know, of course I was online waiting for that to flip over and pop up. And as soon as it did, I right away, I'd already kind of knew what I wanted and I looked at everything and I was like, yep, 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 cart, cart, cart. And the zip ID that I clicked on was actually the gray one with the Snoopy and three Woodstocks embroidered on it. Um, and I think he has a puff ball like this on his hat um, as well, but a smaller one. So that's the one I ordered and I put it into my cart and I went through everything and I checked out and I printed it out and I looked at all the pictures to make sure I hadn't missed anything. Okay, great, punch hole, set it aside, wait for the package to arrive. Did not look at the details of the words, I only cross-checked the pictures. Had I checked the words, what I would have realized was the picture, which is the one I clicked on, the one I wanted, the one I intended, was correct, but the picture was attached to the data for this one. And 
This one is $5 cheaper. Okay, I got it. So there was a technical error. Someone loaded the data wrong, wires got crossed. I don't know. Not super important, but when this arrived and not the other, I went back and checked my order to see, like, I swear I, I knew I ordered the other one, but this one had showed up. So sure enough, I look at mine, I'm like, huh, my picture's right, this is an error. So then I looked at my order history on Vera's webpage, you know, logged in and checked that. And it did show the zip ID, but it showed this picture with the data. And that's when I realized that it was the $20 version that I paid for, even though I had clicked on and ordered the other one. And it hadn't dawned on me that they're a different price. I didn't look that closely at it. I don't even really look at the prices that much. When I know you're gonna pay a full price anyway, I'm like, I want that and just buy it anyway. So for better or worse, a little bit my bad, but really not, it was not my glitch. Um, so I called up Vera customer service, or not called up, I got on the live chat and I explained the situation. I said, you know, what I wanted was the other. They offered me free shipping to send it back and get the new one. Um, they would basically refund this and I would purchase the other one. That's fine, it's a $5 difference. I would have paid anyways had I gotten the right thing into the cart in the first place. But I kind of was put off. So I reiterated, like, really? This is, I mean, it would have been, it's a perfectly acceptable business answer. I want to be very clear. I'm not greedy. I wasn't trying to game the system. I'm, I'm not oblivious to anything. It was an innocent thing on both sides of it. Um, but in the end, after a quick discussion, they said, you know what, just keep that one and we'll send you the correct one. So thank you, Vera, for the accidental free zip ID. And I had thought about ordering this anyways, but I hadn't, so now I have it. And I'm, I'm thankful for it, because obviously it matches very perfectly also, and gives a little bit more contrast to the bag setup. So that's enough for that story time. Quite a long story for a silly little thing, but, but I'm super proud of Vera for amazing customer service yet again, and, and you know making it right. It was a, a small error, a simple, a simple fix technically, but it's a lot of tediousness for me to have to wrap it all up, go get some packaging, and then, yeah, they'll pay for the shipping, but they can't pay for my time and energy, and I have to go out of my way to go over to the post office and drop it off. None of that is hard. It's just tedious and annoying, and, you know, and then I have to watch and wait for the other one and check my bank account to make sure, make sure that they don't miss the refund, because it's not on Vera. They're pretty good, but I've had other companies where you just never get it. And so you're tracking, tracking, tracking. Meanwhile, I don't have time for that. Nobody does, not now, not ever really. And I've got like 12 orders now, 14 after Lug. So between Lug, Jujube, and Vera, I've just got orders out the wazoo. So the last thing I wanna do right now is track an additional refund and return it. So, so I'm so, so, so thankful to Vera for that. So anyways, yay, Vera customer service. Win again. Okay. This is the Woodstock bag charm. It is kind of large actually, but I don't mind. I think it's a great, great size for this. Now it's, you know, proportionally Snoopy is excessively small compared to the giant Woodstock head, but it does give that giant pop of yellow to the bag when you put that on there. So that's kind of fun. And it is one of those ones with a, it has a big, big clip. These are nice because it clips all the way around the strap, which is great. It has this red ribbed ribbon zipper pull. On one side it says Vera Bradley and on the other side it says peanuts. So that's cool. And it's a functional case. So it has this zipper right here and opens up inside. You got your ski jump Snoopy again, but it's pretty good size. So it will hold things like um, earbuds, hand sanitizer, lotion, chapstick, maybe all of the above, honestly. It is shaped like this though, so you have a narrower part here and a wider part here. So you could put quite a lot in there. You could put masks in there, multiples, honestly, because it does have some thickness to it too. So it's one of those very, very big and chunky, functional keychain bag charm things. I may actually put some beads on here, maybe a small chain, a short chain with some beads, like maybe yellow, red, and blue or something, or I don't know, I might. Maybe even put on a little clip so that I can remove it when I don't want the beads and I just want the charm. But just to kind of bring some color to that yellow head with the red ribbon. Anyway, that's all good. Okay, the next thing I got is the mini notebook with pocket. This is Ski Slope Snoopy. 
160 college ruled pages and it does have an interior pocket when you open it up. Um, I'm not going to open it up right now because as always, I keep these wrapped until I open up these notebooks. I have a ton of them, like a stack of them, but I do, I use paper all the time. Every day writing to do notes, notes to sell, planning for a trip or planning for whatever. So I, I use a lot of paper. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a consumer of paper goods. Um, also do we need to go back to school eventually in the not too distant future, so that'll be great. So you got, you know, you got Woodstock up here playing hockey, this little bitty one. You do see a couple of the different um, dog houses. So this one is just napping and this one has the lights. You've got the gondolas. You got Woodstock in the tree with the, or in the tree, in the nest with the tree in the nest. <laughs> this looks like that little Charlie Brown tree kind of. Um, there is no Charlie Brown or any of the other characters in this pattern, but maybe future collaborations will include that, I hope. And the front and the back are the same. This one, everybody gets the same pattern placement. There's no guessing on that. You know exactly what you're going to get. And before I put that aside, here's another um, doghouse. This is the one with the snow that I was talking about. It has a wreath and it has that little fighter pilot Snoopy on there. I would say this one's probably my favorite one, honestly. <laughs> Go figure that the fighter pilot likes the fighter pilot Snoopy. But if you know Snoopy, you know, that comes from his like Red Baron Snoopy thing. So that's old school stuff. Then the last thing I got in this order is the Cozy Life Throw in Ski Slope Snoopy. So it's the same pattern again, but here it is quite large. And I'm not going to unwrap it because um, I'm going to save it. But you can definitely see. This is what was on that zip ID that I ordered. Obviously this is larger and not on a plain gray background, but you had Snoopy with the three little woodstocks on the scarf. Super cute. Um, so everything on here is the same thing as on here, which makes me wonder, I think those, um, that, that image is not on that notebook, so that's okay. Obviously there's other ones, so you've got Snoopy on the toboggan with Woodstock behind. I like that, it's a cute little pair. Here he is decorating a tree. Over here you've got Woodstock. I don't know what Woodstock's doing there. Looks like Woodstock fell because it has that like dizzy swirls above his head. I don't know what happened. And then you've got Red Baron Snoopy down there. Um, coming over the top, you've got the Christmas tree. You've got the Woodstock and Snoopy going uphill. You got Snoopy with some sticks as antlers. There's the gondola with all the woodstocks. You got the toboggan again. Snoopy with woodstock. There he is. It looks like he fell out of a tree. I'm not sure why he's all dizzy there. But it is, of course, the standard Cozy Life Throw, which is by far my favorite of all the Vera blankets. It's just extra soft. It's just so soft. And this is, of course, being the cozy one, it is the Sherpa lined. Where's the edge? There we go, find an edge. So it does have that fuzzy white Sherpa lining that is also super, super soft. These are just, they're squishy soft. They're, they're soft, I love them. Mm, definitely my favorite. Anyway, that's a lot of blah, blah, blah talking, but welcome peanuts. I did hear that there is supposedly unconfirmed, but supposedly going to be a Peanuts Valentine's pattern coming out. Haven't seen it, don't know anything about it, but I heard a rumor. Um, and that's it for now. I uh, hope you're doing well going into the weekend and the next week I have a whole bunch of orders coming in and then it's off over the river and through the woods to my aunt's house I go. Um, bye for now.